Tomorrow we get a brand new suite of Australians of the Year and I am lucky enough to speak to our very own New South Wales Young Australian of the Year for this year, Lottie DL. In 2018, Lottie started Banish, a one-stop shop marketplace to help Australians basically reduce their rubbish and make better decisions for the environment. And it's an honour to have her on the show today. Hi, Lottie. Thanks so much for having me. I'm so excited to just chat rubbish talk trash Georgia fantastic well Lottie how did this whole journey begin for you well as you mentioned I kind of made a very ambitious long list of many new year's resolutions as we all do at the start of the year and one of mine was to do better when it came to the planet it wasn't really like a smart goal there was it wasn't like you need to go plastic free or you need to never eat meat again it wasn't anything like that I just knew back then I was starting to see the news headlines were popping up. I was starting to see the images of poor turtles choking on rubbish. And I thought there is more that I can be doing, but I just don't really know what. So I just kind of put this really, really rough kind of, I don't know, a couple of words together. But when I actually tried to put my resolution into practice and tried to actually start reducing my waste and live more sustainably, it was so hard. It was confusing It was overwhelming. I I didn't really know where to start. There was all of this great information for people who had already been living like this for kind of years and years and years. But for me, who'd never really lived like this before and just wanted to do something, I was like, I just need somebody to tell me and make it so easy that there's no reason for me not to reduce my waste. So I was kind of the person, I was the target market. And kind of when I first started making my switches, I was like, okay, well, Let's just think easy. I'm about to have a smoothie at home. I'm about to throw in a single use plastic straw. So why don't I try and like find a better straw? Eventually decided on a stainless steel straw, ordered some online from again, what I thought was a sustainable company. And then five days later, they arrived individually wrapped in plastic. (laughs) And I just went, oh my gosh, this is ridiculous. I've spent all of this time, all of this energy, and it's just so hard. And I felt so disheartened so overwhelmed but rather than kind of sit in that I saw an opportunity an opportunity to help people that were like me reduce their waste live more sustainably and make it so easy so that's kind of the long story about how I started Banish. So what does Banish consist of today because it's not just products it's not just a shop it's basically like a whole educational resource it's like a one-stop shop for everything sustainable. Exactly. The, the word I like to say is that we have the tools and the tools are kind of the education, but it's also the physical products because you can say to people like you need to use a reusable straw and it makes sense. But you can say to somebody, you need to use soap nuts and they kind of go, well, what's a on, soap what nut? Is a so- what is a soap nut? <laughs> <laughs> so a soap nut are these dried literally nuts that you put into your washing machine and they wash your clothes instead of using laundry detergent. So they're an all natural, literally berry. And what happens is when they touch water, they release a natural soap in. So there's no scents, no chemicals, no fragrances. You use five nuts for five washes and then you just throw them in your garden on your compost bin. Oh my goodness. My life has changed. This is so great. <laughs> okay, so what else does what, what else does Banish consist of? So yeah, you've got the products, but what else? There's you have like a recycling so we've got program. The products, we've got the yeah, we've got the education and then we've got Brad. So Brad is Banish's recycling and disposal program. So the way that it works is we recycle hard to recycle household items and we want people to send them to the right pit which is our Brad Pitt instead of the wrong Pitt, which is landfill. (laughs) (laughs) That is so clever. Now, as you've said, Lottie, living sustainably, it doesn't have to be hard. It can be really easy. So what tips do you have for people? Look, it's the start of of a new year. They want to change something today, but they don't want to, you know, have it be really hard. What are some tips that you have, people that can make small changes? I think I don't like being prescriptive because everybody's on their own journey and kind of doing their own thing. But I think for me, one of the biggest things is, you know, when you go to the recycling bin or the rubbish bin every week, there's that thing that you look at and you're like, can I recycle this or can't I? I'd love for people to take the extra minute to actually search whether that can be recycled or not, just so that's easy and done. I'd love for people to maybe have one meat-free meal this week. It could be breakfast, which is nice and easy. Just making that simple swap makes a really big difference. 
And my last tip would be to not forget about the food at the back of your fridge. <laughs> Don't forget about it. Go deep in there and remember it and cook with it before it actually goes all soggy and moldy and gross because food waste, reducing our food waste is probably one of the best things we can do, not only for the planet, but also for our pockets. It's estimated that the average household throws out between two to two and a half thousand dollars worth of food every year. We're buying that fruit and then we're literally letting it rot. So let's use it up, please. That sounds great. Now, Lottie, uh, this ceremony is tomorrow. Obviously, you've achieved so much already being uh, our state's Young Australian of the Year. If you are lucky enough to, to win Young Australian of the Year, how, how do you want to use your platform throughout the year? I think for me, the biggest thing that I want to use with this platform is to be able to talk to as many people as possible, to get out there, to talk to them about sustainability, to recycle better, to start composting. It's just to make sustainability more accessible, to make it something that is front of mind. We're seeing it so much more than when I started five years ago, but there's still all of these doomy headlines but no actions. And I believe that every individual can make so many small changes in their life that together we can make a really big difference. So what I'm hoping is that this platform will be able to connect me with so many more people that I can inspire and educate and empower to really make those changes and those small decisions in their lives to make a difference. Well, Lottie DL, New South Wales Young Australian of the Year, it has been a true honour to chat to you today and best of luck for the ceremony tomorrow. I'll be watching and cheering you on. Oh, thank you very much. And the Australian of the Year Awards air tomorrow night at 7.30 on ABC and ABC iView. And you can find out more about Lottie and all of our wonderful nominees at australianoftheyear.org.au.